This is an inference question and we have to find a conclusion that is supported by the argument. There is no conclusion in the argument and the missing link is not required. Our broad expectation from the correct answer choice is that it should be duly deducible from the information in the passage without any assumption or extrapolation. Answer choice A. The argument mentions that a private entity would pursue profits and hence taxpayer money would not be needed for the college. However, the argument doesn't suggest anything about the private entity having experience in the field of higher education. So this answer choice is just a possibility and not a conclusion that can be established. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice B. The argument refers to the mayor's political inability to increase the college fee or balance the budget. However, the argument doesn't suggest anything about whether the mayor would settle for accumulating merely as much revenue as is needed to cover operating expenses. This piece of information cannot be established from the argument and cannot be the conclusion of the argument. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice C. The argument mentions that the private entity would pursue profits and hence it would not need taxpayer money. However, the argument doesn't suggest that what would happen if private entity needed taxpayer money. Whether the private entity would be given the funding that it asks, this piece of information cannot be inferred from the argument and cannot be the conclusion of the argument. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice D. The argument mentions that the private entity would pursue profits and taxpayer money would not be needed. The argument makes no suggestion regarding for the actions taken by the private entity. So this answer choice cannot be inferred from the argument and cannot be the conclusion. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice E. The argument mentions that private entity would pursue profits and hence taxpayer money would not be needed to cover the college's ongoing expenses. For the private entity to not need taxpayer money to cover ongoing expenses, it must generate enough revenues and overcome any hurdle. So it can be inferred that private entities would not be prevented by political considerations, that means the hurdles, from ensuring that revenues cover ongoing expenses. This answer choice can be established and is the conclusion of the argument. E is the correct answer choice.